Outlander actors remember loved ones affected by heart disease at the Glasgow Kilt Walk. They'll hike the 23-mile mighty stride in full, historic Highland regalia to raise funds for pioneering cardiovascular research. Actors from Outlander will be walking the Kilt Walk in Glasgow on Sunday with fundraisers from British Heart Foundation, BHF, Scotland. They'll hike the 23-mile mighty stride in full. Historic Highland Regalia to raise funds for pioneering cardiovascular research which is being funded by the BHF all over Scotland, including at its Centre of Research Excellence in Glasgow. This year the Kilt Walk has three distances to choose from, the 23-mile Mighty Stride, the 14-mile Big Stroll and the 6-mile We Wander. Andrew McAlinden explained why they are returning to the Kilt Walk in Glasgow, this time to support cardiovascular research. He said, we're all doing it for people who have experienced heart problems. I'm doing it in memory of my dad Paddy, who died 10 years ago. Nicola Jo Cully is doing it in memory of her papa, Ronald Hudson, who passed away two years ago. And Grant McGregor is doing it in memory of his uncle, Andrew Vardy, who passed away last year. I think walking an 18th century kilt outfit will look awesome and taking part in the kilt walk is maybe a nod to our ancestors too, who would have walked very long distances marching to battle in full regalia. We are all very excited and feel very proud to be part of the Glasgow kilt walk again this year. Laura Stockwell, BHF Scotland's local fundraising manager, said, We are really looking forward to the Glasgow kilt walk and turning back time, 275 years in fact with the actors from Outlander. I'm sure they'll be fun to walk with and I can't wait to hear their stories about filming what's become a famous TV series in iconic local locations. Everyone walking as part of the BHF Scotland Kilt Walk team has been touched by heart disease in some way, whether they know a baby born with congenital heart disease, or have lost someone to a heart attack or heart disease.